What's up, man? It's Big Chad here. This is week two of the Road to Olympia. And my meal guy's are late, man. I'm starting to get real pissed off at this timing, bro, because I need to eat, bro. Where the f is my meals? So this guy right here, this is my guy. Thank you, Jake. Thank you. Thank He's you. He's absolutely saved my life because in his hand, we have some of the most tasty meal preps I've ever had in my life. I can't meal prep really? like this. I'm serious. And I didn't pay him for to, to say that, you know. <laughs> no, I just appreciate it. I appreciate oh, it. Thank you, thank you. These meals in here taste like absolute restaurant quality meals. And just the fact that I can get them to me and I can eat them, the macros are good and they're clean. But like, it's cheap, right? I appreciate like it so much. Less than four dollars. <laughs> yeah, literally. Literally, this is pretty much cheaper than what I would cook back in NZ by at least half the price. Aww. So it's ridiculous, Aww, I appreciate, it, I appreciate it. it so much. Man. Thank you, Jake, thank you, thank you, Jake. And I gotta wow. pay the man. All right, so here we have six meals. All the meals at least have 30 to 40 grams of protein, which is a necessity for me to hit my protein goals. I don't have any whey, I don't have any supplements like that, so I'm getting it all from actual whole foods, which is ridiculously good because I normally struggle to do that in NZ. And we have a selection of different foods. We've got chicken fajita. I know I'm not pronouncing that right, but, but I prefer fajita as in fajita. And like the macros are literally just on it. We got pork, pork with some rice, brown rice and some white rice. We got fish, which is just like, I think like a snapper or taraki. Good omega threes in there as well, which is sick. Um, we've got shrimp and chicken once again, nicely meats. Um, we've got a chicken teriyaki, which tastes bomb as fuck. It's probably one of my favorite. And then we've got chicken cashew, and that one is also really, really good. Um, the thing that I like about these is he puts like all of the macros on them on the actual dishes themselves And I just basically have to enter into my fitness pal instead of individually going and adding all of the stuff up Yeah, it might not be exactly accurate to the nth degree But for this purpose it is and he also has the calories and all the calories in these dishes are literally under 500 calories So I can eat quite a bit of this because it's so clean um, and not really you know dent my calories too much um, but just enough that it keeps me going. And I found, to be honest, with this type of food, I can eat it, and when I eat it, it digests so quickly, and I don't feel bloated, I don't have like problems when I go to the toilet, and it just really, it makes me able to train a whole lot better having whole foods and having good nutrition into the muscle. So I'm gonna eat one of these meals now, um, and then we're gonna head to the gym. All right, so here I'm not on a casting couch, I'm just on a couch with a light on me, but we have shrimp and chicken and some noodles. This is the first meal I'm gonna be chowing into. Honestly, it tastes absolutely fine. I look forward to eating this one every single day. And we have water. No, it is not some sort of unknown liquid. It's just water. Um, one thing that I have to make sure I do is because I sweat profusely. I sweat honestly ridiculous amounts. I have to keep my water intake up. So I'm keeping about four to five liters of water a day. Um, if it's too much, then I'll just basically lower it a little bit, but make sure you hydrate. I'm gonna dig in, leave me alone. All right, we are here at the gym. It is time for a back session. This is the first session that we're doing of this week. This is day one of the Olympia vlog series. So I'm gonna be training like Dorian Yates, a past Olympian who, in my opinion, had the right idea when it came to training. Get in as fast as you can, move as hard a weight as you possibly can, and then get the fuck out. We're gonna start off with some dumbbell pullovers. One top set, heavy as fuck. All right.
guys, so we've just finished up the back workout. Honestly, I'm shattered. My hair is disgustingly sweaty. And I feel like garbage, but I have a monster back pump. I feel like a Dorito. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm currently weighing 116, so I put on two kgs since last week, which is quite impressive, but it's probably also the gear and some water weight. Thank you guys once again. I'll make sure you tune in next week, and I'll see you then for some help.